Welcome to Bezin Tech Channel, helping you start with your Linux, ethical hacking and programming career with any device as little as your smartphone and an internet connection. On this channel, we upload programming videos, Linux operating system videos, helpful technical tricks and tutorial videos just like this. So if you're new to this channel and interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. There is a lot of people out there today that are interested in learning computer programming but are limited by the idea that you need a personal computer to begin your programming career. Meanwhile, the truth is you can start with your Android phone and an internet connection. Which brings us to the question, is it possible to install Windows or Linux softwares on your Android phone? Well, the answer is yes, though in my previous tutorials I have focused on Linux operating systems only. But in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install a virtual machine that allows you to run Windows PC applications on your Android devices, and its name is Exagear. So to install Exagear, you are going to find a link in the description of this video. I am going to be pasting the link to this file there, and if you click on the link, it is going to bring you to this download page. So all you have to do is, you're going to download Exagear, alright? Just like this, you're going to click on the download button right there, and your download should begin immediately, okay? So my download is starting right now, and of course, if I go to the details, as you can see, there is Bezin Tech Exagear right there. I already have the file on my Android phone, so I'm just going to cancel this and um, show you the file in my folder. As you can see right there in my download folder is the bed in tech exagger.zip file so i'm going to unzip this right now right so i'm just going to open with i'm going to be unzipping it with this raw application that i have on my phone but you can unzip it with any file archiver you have on your android phone okay so i'm just going to unzip this right now okay and i'm, I'm going to click on okay so this file is a passworded file all right so I'm going to be telling you the password to this file in the end of this video or you can just as well check the blog. I'm going to be pasting the password to the file in the blog, okay? So and um, you're going to enter that password and you're going to click on OK to extract. And it should take a while, okay? And um, the extracted should finish in about maybe a minute or two. So I'm just going to wait for this extraction to finish now. And all right. The extraction is, has been completed so now that the extraction has been completed let's go to the extracted folder right there bed intake exager okay so the first thing we're going to do is um we're going to open the folder now and install the exager update apk as you can see right there exager 302 update apk so you're going to install this application install so um okay let's just wait for this to finish installing okay the installation has finished so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to move this obb file right here to our android folder okay so you're just going to click on move to okay and um your internal storage locate android all right and inside the android folder locate obb and move it there all right so i'm just going to click on move here and um, i'm going to move the file like that so the file has been moved to the obb folder so now we're going to launch the application so let me just quickly quit from this file application and um okay let me quit we're going to talk about this later in the video so i'm going to go back now back okay let us let us check the file in the android folder as you can see inside the obb folder there is this com.ltex.ed folder all right so um let us launch the exact game later now okay as you can see so we're going to launch the application allow it to have access to file on your devices all right so starting up we're going to wait a little bit all right the application has been launched so um you're going to click on manage containers right here manage containers okay so click on that manage containers and you're going to click on this plus plus icon right there okay as you can see a new container has been created for us so we're going to go to properties now and rename this container so i'm going to rename this container to base intake all right so you can give it any name of your choice you can you know give the container your name but as for me i'm going to just change it to bed intake so bed intake right there and um, i'm going to click on okay 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the screen resolution to the resolution of my Android phone. Now, your Android phone resolution might differ. So make sure you know the resolution of your phone and change it. So I'm just going to change this to 1600 times 900. All right. So I think I prefer that 1600 times 900. So I'm going to change it to that 16 ratio 9. Okay. Any of this 16 ratio 9 should work for your Android phone. But for me, I prefer 16 times 900. So I'm going to change this to 32 bit. And of course, um, I prefer the CP10 control. You're going to unmark these two right here, the default control and those bullshit. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run the Explorer. And um, the Explorer is starting up, as you can see. So um, ignore this, ignore this. All of this doesn't matter. So we're going to we're going to click on Start right here. If you look at the bottom left of your screen, you're going to see Start. Okay. Um, let me just quickly cancel this. Let me quickly cancel this. Okay. So you're going to click on Start right here. All right. Let me zoom in so that you can see what I'm talking about. Start. Now you're going to click on Run. Now a new window should pop up, and in that new window, you're going to type um Wine CFG. Okay. So um, we're going to configure the version of Windows. We want this Explorer to be running, all right? So you're going to type one save and you're going to click on OK. And then a new window should come up asking you that which of the window version do you want. So as for me, um, as for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Windows 10. So you can choose any Windows version of your choice depending on the software you want to install, all right? So just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using Windows 10. And I'm going to click on apply and then OK. And that is all. So um, the Windows version you're going to be using has been configured. Now, if you click on run again and um, if you type the command, OK, if you click on browse right there, uh, you can easily access the, the files in your download folder. As you can see, I have this NPP notepad installer right there on my on my phone. So if I click on OK, now as you can see, just from that shortcut, uh, I'll be able to install my notepad plus plus on 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 my android phone so i'm just going to click on next and um i agree of course i agree to the terms and condition and um, i'm going to just install this so that you can see how this you know how installation actually works on this so um, i'm going to speed the process up i'm going to speed this um installation process up so that the whole thing can be fast all right So Notepad++ has been successfully installed on this emulator. So I'm just going to click on finish now. And um, let us just wait for the application to, you know, to finish loading. And as you can see, Notepad++ has been installed successfully. So now, you know, you can start um, your HTML coding. You know, for those of you that are interested in learning HTML, right from your Android phone. So um, let us talk about how to access your internal storage files um, using Exagear. So if I click on start and, and I click on run again, and here you're going to type the command explorer, all right, E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R, -E explorer, and you're going to click on OK. This is going to launch your, your, your file manager on Exagear. As you can see, the file manager has been launched. So um, let's see if I can zoom in. Let me move this to the middle. Let's move this to the center of the screen. And let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, okay? As you can see right here, if I click on uh, my computer, there are different drives there, and the drive Z has your, your root folders in them. So if you click on storage and you click on emulated, you're going to see your download folder inside Exagear. So um, Exagear is able to access your download folder only. So any file you want to work with on Exagear, Make sure that file is located in the download folder of your internal storage. So with that being said, um, let us install the DirectX 11 graphics card. DirectX is a Microsoft video card driver that is used in many popular games to render 3D environments on Windows machine. So um, you're just going to click on the file. It is already part of the zip file that you downloaded in the beginning of this um, tutorial. So. You're going to locate the file and click on install install that file and um that is it so now you'll be able to install softwares like um blender 3d um, obs studio and so on and so forth so um this is how you install the exagear 
virtual machine or windows emulator on your android phone though i'm going to be making new videos soon on how to install some windows softwares on your android phone so please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on bell notifications to be notified when these um, videos come in so the password to the zip file i promised you earlier in this video is bird for you b-i-r-d for you it is showing on your screen right now so you can use it to extract the zip file the exact zip file when you download it so thanks for watching and i'm um, see you in the next video goodbye